want to get where there's a little lower land and maybe a clear spot uh, below us. Yeah. Um, anytime you're doing glides or autos, you want to have some space. Well, you want to have a place to go to because it has happened. That's why they tell you specifically in the safety notice not to roll to idle. Right. Because people doing stuff like that have shut the engine off. Now, yeah. that, like I say, that instance, the reason the safety notice was written, it was a, a 44 when they first came out and they yeah. were having some issues with the fuel injection, the pressure. Yeah. It's never really happened in the 22, and they fixed, the, since then, they fixed the problem. But if you just do a split, just be able to hold the split. Yeah, um, exactly, and that's something you could play with here. Just roll it down to say 90 or or somewhere between 80 and 90, and hold it as you're doing things, and see what it takes to do that. So let's see here. So we're at two and a half this thing. Yeah. Yeah, just probably that way somewhere. We'll use that little valley, I guess. Yeah. You won't be able to drop as far, but you can go, you know, you can climb a couple more hundred feet and then drop, you know, don't go any lower than 1,500 if we're over that valley. Yeah. So to practice these, you just want to get set up just like you would normal. You want to be 60 knots. Yeah. You want to be power out of the yellow. Have a traffic that you can uh, see where it's on final, but one mile final passing through. Four Hold car, you can do your check. Monitor red, gauge the screen. Decent the uh, oil. Things run up on the Yeah, it, it'll run that way sometimes. Yeah, the pressure, you mean? Yeah, it'll be sometimes right up against the yellow. Especially when it's full like that. Yeah. So let me get the sequence. Okay. Down collective, roll off. And you're just going to split and then glide. So you're just scanning. So it's down all the way, split, yep. and then you come inside, start watching your gauges because you probably have to bump, right? And then you can play with speed and things and see what, you know, happens. So uh, when you're down collective, you're going to need uh, so the right, uh, extraction. Yeah, it's, you, you should just be yeah, attitude. So once you go down collective, just keep your nose straight and uh, keep the same view you have. So in other words, the nose shouldn't come up or go down. It should just stay pretty much where it is, right? Okay. okay. So anytime you're ready. Okay. 60 knots. Three, two, one, down collective. Okay. Roll on.
uh, we can use this area right here. So we'll get a little bit past, Jim. enter, split, and then I want you to make a turn back this way. So just what, do, when you go down, just go down and then just roll and just come inside and look and then just hold it. So, so where am I holding it, the, trying to hold the speed too, just over 80 or just under 80? What, what, what are you talking when, about? When you roll off, uh -huh. you roll Oh, off. yeah, yeah, you're, you're, you're looking at your RPMs, your engine RPMs, yeah. and you want to keep it, you know, like say, uh, in between the 80 and the 90. Okay? Anything below 80 is, so I'll, I'll show you one, okay? Okay. That's right, okay, just a crank. Okay, I have controls, you can follow and just kind of look. So, now, now, I could be flying, remember when we set up, you know, we might have ideal conditions, but I might be out here doing a photo op, and then all of a sudden, I lose my engine. So, I go down, I just split, okay, I, I went a little too much, I bump there, see now it's up, now I'm just holding it there, okay? Now I gotta turn around because my open spots are over here, right? Yep. So I'm turning, I'm turning, I'm turning, I'm just keeping everything. So you're holding the... I'm holding the governor, yep. okay? Now, when I want to recover, all I have to do is let go, and it's right there, right? Yeah. Okay, you have control. I have control. But, see, it, it is, and if you roll too much, you can bring it back up, because I, I didn't mean to. It's a little, the, the, the throttle's a little sticky, so I didn't mean to roll it that much. I had to roll it back on to bring it up to 80. Yeah. I went past it, too. Yeah. Um, but, see, I wasn't at 60. No, no, I understand the speed issue. Yeah, I can, I can do whatever I want. You can enter at any point and just make your adjustments, right? Yes. So I was making all those adjustments. I saw I rolled too much. I rolled back on a little bit, but I yeah. kept it split, right? I started to make my turn. Um, if I wanted more speed, I could have put my nose down. Maybe I was too close to the place, and I'm going to get slower yeah. and let it fall. Oh. Okay. It's all, it's so, all of the adjustments once you're actually in the glide. So let's make a turn again left, we are clear, and keep climbing, and your best climb rate in this is what? 500 feet. And your best climb rate, so what is the, how fast? 60, 60 knots, is it six, no, 57 knots? 53. 53. It's 53 in this, and it's 55 in the R44, so you can pull full power, and I just use 55, it's easier to see, and that's going to give me my best climb. Almost 600, and you've got another half inch you can pull. Yeah. If you want to go into your uh, five minute power, you've got a, a whole inch yeah. you can pull. But I'm, you know, yeah. climbing 500 feet per minute. Yeah. And you're saying a 53. Okay. okay, so I don't see anything. I don't see anybody below us. Okay. 